interesting. Oh, the ambush. Oh, faded. Oh, no, faded. They were they were sitting right behind the fog wall. They actually were thinking about going in shield seven again to five. There's the black hole. That's what they needed before. Maybe to potentially turn this around. The health on everyone on the side of Giles going down, and Shuey brings the pain. The follow up from the Gideon black hole. Beautifully done. Orb Prime going to be an objective that these guys want to take or set up for? Are they taking this? Or are they baiting this? They've got the time to do it. it. They've got the damage. I don't think these guys know this is happening. The rotation's coming. But I think oh, by the time here comes the shield slam, this is the Wombo Combo again. They line them up. They get all three of the big ultimates going down. And Ghost is going to get torn apart. Oh, he's still alive somehow. He's actually in stealth. He's going to be able to get away. But the rest of his team now coming in. Edoc gets in. He gets the kill on the Gideon. Potentially looking for more. Earthshatter does a little bit of damage on the Faded. But it's going to be the Sticky Bomb for Mass. And this is what they want to do. Their cast goes for the hook. Doesn't land a three-man subjugate from Fatal as well as on top of a Tesla Dome. This is really what they need, but the Delta split from Thing Twice is a little bit too good. Here comes Sheiks. The black hole is there. There's no interrupt. They're just getting sucked into it right now. There's nothing they can do as they're getting torn across the map as well as the cryosism bouncing. One, two, make it three. Can a fossil gets knocked up? Is the damage there? Fossil's taking a lot of damage here. He needs some help. He needs his assistance, or he might find himself. That's the assistance they need right there. She's coming in, but the stasis bomb negating it. The huge anchor dropping down. Shink's got a triple off of a single cast of cosmic rift right there. That was beautifully done. Chill Phil dropping down from the high ground, something he doesn't land as it still was able to dodge it very, very quickly. Quick reaction from him. But Chill Phil's now isolated. Straight. Proficiency dropping down from where Chill Phil descended from. And there's a hook onto Marty. Garbash is going to get taken out, but that's not a high priority target at this stage. If Chill Phil can get away, they might be able to look for a re engagement here. There's the Reckoning. Who's it on? It's on Imsco. This could be greedy. If they can keep Imsco alive, Suki's going to be in a very awkward position. He needs to get the kill. He needs to use Blu-ray. He does get the kill on Imsco, the Punisher. All the meanwhile, Strafe over here, very, very low in Team Reborn, aka Ramados, aka the boss, is able to pick up a kill as well onto Strafe. A carry for a carry, but with a double carry composition means he's still got that long range auto attacker. And oh, baby, that's a triple Ramrado swinging the halberd, swinging that down. And now Suki, he's going to go for it. He gets it up, and he immediately turns over. Chill Blink Charm. Oh, baby, a quadrant. Can we get the Penta Suki? Got him all five. Go down, and that's a Penta, ladies and gentlemen. Five men can start to push onto the core. They have the prime card. And they take this against insurmountable odds. Lucera's called out. He's going to try to do what he can. He's still alive. But it's Team Reborn. It's Ramrado who takes out Richter underneath his own core. And already a 4v5 now, Team Oxygen are looking to reset the fight, but Team Finesse wants none of that. Chill Phil leading for it. The subject does not land on Amari, but you hear Arsenic summon the power of the curse. And one of the carries is down now, Chill Phil goes down, it's 2v5. Team Oxygen might be able to pull this game around. Suki's isolated, he's tethered, he gets taken out as well. And it looks like Team Oxygen is going to be able to go and win this game down three inhibitors. This is a bunch of skills to come back online. They're here, but oh, so Suki. is... Suki's there, he has a teleblink, uses the seismic assault, the void bomb, oh, they blow up to a blast, oh, oh, Suki with the huge plays, picking up the kills, he gets the seismic assault through the terrain, and get completely denies Hydra from getting that orb. But we've seen them fall back, repressure fall back, and it's Meds is actually the one trying to go in. Well, they're, they're waiting for us to, uh, for Suki to actually get that. Boulder lands up proficiency. He's going to fall straight right back into the hands of Ram Riddles. The Stasis Gym is used as well as the Reversal of Fortune, a combination that has kept people alive in sticky situations throughout the course of the game. But Fingmail continues to go in. The ultimate, I don't think it landed there. Actually, the Stasis Gym now forced on Ram Riddles, putting himself in an awkward situation. Here comes Suki charging around the corner, but immediately starts taking pop shots. The Boulder as well. Marty might be able to finish the kill. Can they kill him? Stasis Gym keeping him alive, while Chill Phil tries to zone up the rest of the team. Everyone on the side of Team Oxygen is so low. They're snared. They're trying to move forward. The curse goes down onto Marty. Is the damage it up. Jill Phil's trying to get him. The soul siphon, the big hand! Gets the first kill of this very long engagement. Oh, the landmine knocking Ram Riddles to his death as well. This master grab on the Chill Phil, but he's too damn tanky. He has very needed boost of card experience, but Med goes in. He blinks in with the challenge of the Warlord. He's going to try to get the kill to make it rain. They're inside of it. Survivor's trying to get himself out of that ultimate, but he isn't able to. Up against the wall, up against the ropes, and he gets knocked out. The double smash and grab. Meds is just on fire here. They can't seem to stop the Grux player. They win it in an unfavorable situation, and able to get the kill onto the carry player. Raptors were cleaned up. Raptors were taken. And is this a possible overextension? Sure, they were able to get the kill onto the Sparrow player, but if they get any more, this could be turned what around, but Ram Riddles, he comes back from the grave, and he gets the kill! 
splinter. He's, he's trying to zone as best as he can. I don't believe he has a containment fence online as it was just used in the most recent team fight. The Warp Prime very, very low. They have to be careful about the steal. Ramnos is going to go in. Nato 6 able to pick it up. Oh, Master Splinter is very low. There's not going to get much value. Emsko picks up the kill onto the support. The black hole onto Emsko and Phasma. Huge black hole. The Stasis Gym just delayed the inevitable. Solo Nazgul has been around the corner. Ramnos looks for the kill. It does not happen. Freeport are able to take the fight. They take the Orb Prime. They want those dollar bills. Med just stunned up. He's taking so much damage. Nato Sick takes him down. Reborn are coming back from the ashes, just like their name implies. And they, ladies and gentlemen, are gonna take game number two. It still might be sketchy. Nato Sick, if he gets a steal, there's a lot of ways he's looking for it. Ramrittle secures it and goes reflect. The black holes are any way to interrupt it. I don't think there is. They're taking the full front damage of the Gideon. And down goes Imsko. Nato's still alive. Nadu Hypu is reborn doing it. They possibly might be. They pick up two very important kills. And that's going to be Decker back on the field. Nazgul was taken out, but he did his job. Reflect taking the tower over onto Imsko. He's trying to cut him down. Reflect is going to do what he can. The Tainted Magic. Can he do it? Under the core. Oh, baby. Imsko's so low. The Radiant Mantle. Can he do it? He does! <laughs> Reflect, ladies and gentlemen. He says, Ram Riddles, who? Excuse me? Wait, wait. Or Reborn are going to make a unlikely. Oh, by the boulder. Nato Sick goes in, pulls him back. Phasma does. The piercing arrow does not land. They're, they're chasing the twin blast instead of trying to end this game. Reborn has to be careful. What the containment fence? The $2,500 containment fence coming out for Master Splinter right there. The creep wave in the middle is massive. It is going to be Reborn.